What up guys, it's your girl Manny Meeks and I am back with more Lucifer. And if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, quite subscribe. I'm here, you're here. Let's be here together. Down below in the description box, I link to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Manny Meeks. And over there, I have full link version of my reaction as well as the YouTube clear versions and early access series, which this one is a part of. So, um, oh yeah, also down below, I have a link to my merch store. I have t-shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, all types of things with original designs on them. If you want to support me that way, you can. Those are the two ways you can support me monetarily, Patreon and my merch store. You don't have to support me monetarily. You can support me free entirely. How? Why? When? Where? Subscribe down below, right up and through here, right, right up and right up and through here, because it's free. Yeah, it's free. It's it's free. It's zero dollars, zero dolores, doll hairs, if you will. And um, yeah, it's the best way to support me for free is to subscribe. Mhm, 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 mhm. Um, last time on Lucifer is the beginning of season three. And I'm really excited about this. So far, season three is, is it's it's pretty cool. We've got uh, a new character. We've got Smallville, and I'm pretty sure. I mean, he has a cool name in the show, but he is Smallville. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be. And Smallville is the new chief, I believe. And everyone is trying to impress him and wow him. And he's just like, I'm just here to do my job, so I won't get fined as of right now. Um, He's been real mad. He's like been madly disrespectful to everyone. Um, and yeah, so Lucifer was kidnapped at the end of the last episode and he woke up in the Desorte and he had his wings. And so he had to get back to LA and he ran into the guy with the underwear in season two, I believe. Um, and he re-traumatized him, okay? <laughs> took the car that he stole or took the, uh, what's it called? What are those things called? armored vehicles that he stole it's like the bank the bank ones the bank trucks and um brought it back to the police while they were chasing it down you know they were trying to get him because he just literally took an armored car vehicle full of the monies so lucifer got back and he's like what am I supposed to do with these wings i don't want these wings and so he eventually cut off his wings he uh let linda know that he got his wings back and he was like what is going on and she's like well maybe you shouldn't cut them off maybe you should try to figure out why you have them because you thought they weren't going to come back and now they're back. So maybe you should not be so rash as to cut them off and just figure out what's going on first. How about that? But he didn't listen. He went ahead and cut them off and tried to go about his day. And it just didn't work out very well. Um, he tried to hide it from Aminadel. But of course Aminadel, um figured it out after Lucifer set up a massage for him with this teeny tiny towel. And he was like, I'm going to need a bigger towel. And I was like, yeah, baby, you going to need a bigger towel. And he went to go get that towel and saw the feather on the floor and eventually saw the wings that Lucifer cut off of himself just on the floor laying there. And he just got real upset. Like, I hope that you were able to confide in me after all we've been through. You like, you, you didn't tell me that mom had died, died. She didn't tell me that you moved mom to a different dimension. You kept me in the dark. You're not telling me about your wings. Like I thought we were closer than this, Lucy. What's going on? Why is your t-shirt way too damn long? So... He's feeling a little frustrated. I'm not mad at him. We haven't seen Maze because I'm pretty sure um, someone said in the previous couple of episodes that Maze was pregnant. So she might still be like out for maternity leave um, in the show right now. And they just have her off doing stuff. Mm, let's see what else. The case of the episode was, you know, Lucifer got kidnapped. So he tried to prove to Chloe that he got kidnapped. And at the kidnapping site where he was like, this is where you need to investigate. This is where my crime happened, where I was kidnapped and where I was dropped off. They actually found a body from uh, somebody else who had snatched him. But they didn't, did they ever say why he was killed? I don't think they said why this person was killed. But they said that Lucifer was, um, the, the company snatched was paid to pick up Lucifer and one of the guys was paid to kill Lucifer, but he didn't finish the job. And so the guy who hired him, the sitter man, uh, killed him at the end of the episode because he did not he did not get rid of Lucifer like he was supposed to. But I don't remember them saying how the other guy died. I don't remember them addressing that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't remember them addressing that. But let's see what else happened. Oh, yeah. And um, he tried to tell Chloe the truth because he left her a message saying we need to talk. And so he was like, you know what? I'm just going to tell you right now. And he tried to put on his devil face, but he couldn't do it. Which leads me to believe that either A, there's two of them. He was somehow split. Something somehow happened. I don't know. He was split. Or um, 
when he opened that dimension, something came out and went into him and we just didn't know it. Something like that. Because it is him. I'm thinking that either his powers are blocked, they've gone into somebody else, or there's two of him. That's what I've got. And all of that stems from him opening the dimension and sending his mother to a different, to a different uh, universe. Something like that. So, on that note, let's go ahead and jump into Season 3, Episode 2. The one with the baby carrot. Uh-huh. Is that Lucifer? That is Lucifer. I like the song of beats already. His wings gonna come out, aren't they? And for the record, I don't usually suffer from premature unfurling. No. Keep the mouth. I'm totally into cosplay. Girl, what? Dip as a devil and make it really sexy. Her face is not sexy. Not right now, at least. You just ruined it. Home! You cut them off, didn't you? I did, yes. But then they grew wow. back, so I cut them off again. Mm-hmm. Yep. But someone is forcing those wings on me. They took away my devil face. And I won't stand for someone making me something I'm not. But whatever he is, I'm going to stop at nothing to find him. We found him. Who? Oh, the missing link. Damn. Proof of human rodent copulation. It's Mike Alonzo, the guy that uh. skewered your kidnapper under the pier. <laughs> Until then, consider this case closed and let's focus on this case, please. Okay. <laughs> I can't get a read on Smallville. Why are you? I hate when I see ankles out. It just bothers me. Danielle? Mm. We should listen to Danielle, actually. He's got a unique insight into this case. What's he talking about? Well, they're kindred spirits. He does stand up. I do improv, they're completely different things. Oh. As in JD Woodstock? Yeah. Why, you know him? Yeah, he made big news a couple days ago claiming Bobby Lowe stole his jokes. Open your eyes, pal. Yeah, JD claimed that Bobby's show was based on his own material. You know, if you keep saying crazy things around him, who knows what he might do. True. <laughs> well, Bobby, guess what? I finally found it. Prove you're a fraud. And I'm going to show it to the world. Well, which of these boxes do I click on for the proof? <laughs> I'm leaning towards just talking to him. And then throttling. I suppose a little foreplay never... Ciao. Wait, 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 wait. You guys are going to go talk to him, like, right now, the second? Yeah. Why? Maybe I should go with. To be safe. Okay. To be safe. <laughs> I love her face. She be killing me. She has the best poker face. She be like, mm-hmm. What does he have on? What the? F what do you have on? What is that? So, Linda, what's going on? Um, I just wanted to say thank you. Well, if I'm right, there's something I need to do in the penthouse. And I've been avoiding it. Oh! Severed angel wings in a closet. Of course. Totally handleable. <laughs> This, yeah, this is gruesome. I was gonna string this along, but it's already a little too sad for me. Wow. I'm actually glad you came in. He's gonna fire him. Really? I want all the intel that you gathered on Lucifer. Why would I have any intel on Lucifer? Because when he first started working with Decker, you were still married to her. I did. I'd like it all on my desk in an hour. <laughs> Look, some of us have important work to do, like entertaining America. If you'd like to see how it's done, take a seat. I would trip his ass. Who the fuck are you talking to? All right, guys, let's start the show.
You, I, y'all see my face. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Right, what have you got to say for yourself? Beat it, Handy. I'm not talking you. Get the hell out of my set, man. Okay. Okay, fine. Don't talk to me. Let's have a chat with one of your old friends, shall you we? Are you insane? You could have killed him. Me? I'm not the one who hit a gun up a puppet's backs. Oh, I see. So you killed our poor victim, ran back to work, and cased it in an old puppet. Not the murder weapon. Someone's pissed, claiming I, all my jokes are about him. The jokes that you stole like the thief, which you are. It's a bit strong. <laughs> God damn it, I love Ella. This must be so painful. Cutting off a piece of yourself over and over. Ouch. We all have pain that we hide under. That we're just not ready to share with the world. Uh-huh. Seems awfully cruel. Well, if it were easy, it wouldn't be much of a test. Would it? First of all, why can she touch them? I did some research, and originally the show was much edgier about a guy dealing with his insecurities about his, um, dealing with his insecurities about his, um, micro penis. Hold me close to tiny donuts. So Are you saying I'm <laughs> looking for a needle in the penis? <laughs> See, this is why I didn't want to tell you. Anyhow, after it became a family show, the micro penis got removed. Did anyone even notice? <laughs> Lucifer Morningstar. I figured out what you really are. The fuck is the matter with you? Why are you in my house? I'm surprised it's taken you this long. I have no idea why you prance around and call yourself the devil. Prance? This is about the sinner man. Very well. What is it that you think I am? An idiot. <laughs> no, I came here to warn you. I know you're looking into him, but you have no idea what you're doing. You need to be careful. He stole from me, Lieutenant, and I won't stand for it. Hims is handsome. Compost? Recycling? Trash. I've never had to dispose of pieces of divinity before. I don't think Lucifer knows how much this hurts you. He never does. He doesn't. Even though he doesn't realize it, everything he does seems designed to hurt me. You're very wise, Linda. Thanks, amen. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't work, does it? She is so little. Those heels saved her from being extremely tiny. All right, please welcome to the stage for the first time, the devilishly handsome Dan Espinosa. Remember yes and Daniel. I am out of the frame and I can't go back in the frame. I'm not going back in the frame. You can't tell me what to do. This is my channel. I do what I want to do. And I'm going to be over here not watching this. Jesus be a fence. I can't. And, no. And he's got a no. tiny penis. Uh, oh. Penis. God, I want to skip it so bad. Oh, gosh. I'm just going to take it's these off. I penis. can't. <laughs> when I tell you that I because literally Adam, can't. Not because it explodes. Oh, God. Jesus be a I can't do this. It's a medical condition, you monster. <laughs> Lucifer. But can't stop, won't stop. This is much too fun, Detective. No, no, no. Keep going. I want 
I can keep going. I can't pay that. <laughs> oh my god. He's so small that when he wants to have sex, he needs to call out a search party. Or oh, that his weenus is so small, it looks like his testicles are giving the tiniest thumbs up. <laughs> That's highly embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. Dan has to be so pissed. Oh god, you undermined the entire sting. Well, I'd argue you undermined it with your botched attempt at humor. All I did was throw a drowning man a tomato. Oh, hey man. I just uh, want to say, really appreciate you saying what you did. I don't understand. Having a micro penis isn't a crime. <laughs> that man, he is chuckling. <laughs> Back when Bobby was nobody. I toured with him, and that's when I figured he heard about my condition. How would he have heard about that? All the chuckle bunnies talk. The what? Uh, chicks who like to have sex with comedians. Well, there's a term for that. But, oh no, Lucy fans. Can you please? I like Lucy fans. Do you remember the name of the uh, warm-up comedian? Uh, Shelly, maybe, or Sheila? Yeah, that was it. Do you know her? We're done here. What else would she be angry about? Let's find out. These things are creepy. It's very Five Nights at Freddy's and I don't like it. So these puppets weren't creepy enough. See? Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Lucifer? Bruh. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me too. I would punch him in his dick balls. The dick and the balls at the same time. Is Bobby stabbed or bust in the head? Is she still here? Who? She. She. My crap! Okay, midlife crisis later? How long ago? Uh, a few minutes? Baby, we, we heard you come in and she hit me with the butt of her, of her gun. In the face! She has a gun? Wait, did, did you hear me? I, I said it in the face! <laughs> wow. Why did you do it, Sheila? Get out of the way. I'm getting out of here. Well, once you answer my question, I'll gladly let you pass. Jokes don't make a comedian. Everyone has an itchy butt joke. It's all about what you do with it. What you do with your itchy butt? With the joke! So... Now, if you don't get out of my way... <laughs> Too much hard work to break into my penthouse again for a heart to heart? I did some digging, and you're right, the sinner man is here in LA. Oh, right. And you're not going to take my advice from last night? Most definitely not. I thought so. Where are you running off to next? Nowhere. I'm seeing this through. But you need to shut your damn mouth about the sinner man. We need to play this carefully. Let's keep it between us. The less people who know about it, the less chance anyone gets hurt. But the detective has a kid. She stays out of it. She has a Trixie. You can't do that to Trixie. You look so good. You're my king. You look so fucking good. Like him? Aminadale? Lucy? Dan? They all look good. Bitch. I know the cinnamon had you skew a Sam under the pier, so tell me everything. Who the hell's the cinnamon? Fine. Man, I have no idea what 
Mr. Targon of Ah. Uh, you must know, come on, Alonso. What about the Zimmerman? I don't know. You must know! I don't know anything. I swear. Lucifer, I want to talk about your wings. Bloody hell, they're not out again. So they grew back. You can't keep doing this to yourself. Oh, uh -huh. You do. Yes. It's getting exhausting. Quite messy. Maybe I should hire someone to do it. Or maybe your Leave solution them alone. is to accept that for now you have wings again. Well, and let Dad win, or. We all have itchy butts. Excuse me? No, it's just something the woman said to me right before I punched her in the face. That's actually pretty wise. Yeah. So I'll just tuck them away and pretend they don't exist. Less good. Someone else is giving favors. Who cares? And I think that maybe... I can do something else? Oh, okay. Again. She tries so hard, and he just goes right around the point that she's trying to make. How does he get this word out? Like, hello? What is it that you truly desire? How do we get here? I feel so bad for Dr. Linda sometimes because she be making some points. Like she be pointing out the things that need to be pointed out. She's be pointing with both hands, all 10 fingers. And Lucifer will become an expert dodgeball player and dip, dive, duck, dodge, duck, dip, dive in around what she's trying to say. Maybe you should accept having wings is your new thing instead of mutilating yourself every day to get rid of something that grows back. Just maybe. And I'm thinking, I swear, I think that the center man either looks like him or is related to him in the Minadel and it's gotta be something heavenly, angelic or demonic. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Like it doesn't make, he has no devil face anymore. That means he is essentially an angel, right? Hims is angelic. Hmm. And the fact that Smallville is like, don't mess with the center man. If you had a run in with him, then you would know what he looks like, right? Maybe he just had like other people doing stuff for him. I don't know. Smallville is giving me mm, vibes. Don't get me wrong. He's giving me mm -hmm vibes along with Dan and Lucy and Amitadale. They mm -hmm. These men in this show is this yes. However, I'd be like, uh-huh. You ever see Friday? And Miss Parker's like, girl, we should have lunch or something. And I excuse my mom was like, okay. That's where I am with him. That's where I am. I don't know. I don't know. I want to know, but I don't know. That's where we are. So on that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh, so many things. I'm tired.